Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you some apps you can download and use for school. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first app that I will share with you is Socratic by Google. You can look for a discussion or a lesson on a specific topic. There is science, math, literature and history it includes subtopics for you to choose a particular lesson then once you find a topic it will show you this cute and simple visual aid under that is a discussion about the topic there are also videos that are included and some more resources for you to check out you can now learn and clarify a discussion that you find confusing. They also have this camera feature where you can take a photo of a question and it will automatically read the text. It will then provide you with some discussion about the question and a video that you can watch and some more resources. They also have the microphone feature so you can speak and it will automatically encode the text or you can just type it. Next app that you can use for school is a PowerSoft scanner. This app is basically straightforward and easy to use. You can scan a document and apply their OCR feature. Just take a picture of a text, adjust the area you want to apply this feature, and choose a filter you want. I prefer the black and white since it looks cleaner. Click the check icon and OCR button below. The app will then recognize the text. It will show you three options on how you would save it. In their word option, you can edit the text. So here I just darkened the title and changed the font color. Click on the export button below, then choose the one you prefer. I just save it to my files and this is how it would look like once you open it. On their text option, you can easily copy the text by clicking the button below or just save the image. Again, you can also scan a document. It's just the same process, so just adjust the area, then the filter. On their scan option, you can also add your signature here. Click on the sign button below and you can choose the pen color you prefer. Resize it and place it anywhere on your document. Click the export button and you can share it as a PDF or image. For the handwriting feature, a tip that I can share to have accurate results is to write the words legibly and clearly because the AI or computer is the one that detects your text. There might be inaccuracy if the letters are not properly written. Overall, I like this app. It serves its purpose and you can easily scan any documents so if you want to try a powersoft scanner i will have a link below in the description box go download it and start scanning thank you to a powersoft for sponsoring this portion of the video and going back to our next app which is canva i am absolutely a number one fan of this app i've been using it on anything on my youtube videos schools etc so here in Canva, they have a variety of templates and designs that you can choose from. You can just search for it and select the template you prefer. Here I just chose this planner and the good thing here is that by clicking on their styles tab, you can choose a theme and font you want to apply. You can also click it again to shuffle the colors until you have the one that fits your style. This app is best for students, beginners, and professionals who want to create something in just a few clicks. They have various file types that you can choose from in saving your work. Fourth app is Quizlet. Here they gave a variety of flashcards on any topic which you can use to practice for your exams. By clicking on a topic, you'll have different choices. You can choose the flashcard option, click on the card to flip and see the answer. It also has the options to shuffle the cards and turn on the audio. It will then read the question for you. In cells, a large oval organelle that contains the cells. You can also choose the learn option to select the correct answer on the choices provided. 
It's like a multiple choice exam. They have more choices on how you prefer the questions to be displayed. You can search for a specific topic and it will show you various flashcard sets created by other app users. And here in Quizlet, you can also create your own study set just add a title then under it are the definitions and terms you want to include and you can now start reviewing and practicing yourself for exams next up is slideshare i included this one because it has a lot of powerpoint presentations on any topic you can search for a lesson and choose a presentation just make sure that it has a lot of views and yes, you can just choose the presentation you prefer. You can also click the heart button to like the presentation and it will be saved on your likes section. Slideshare is also available online. And yeah, that is all for this app. Our second to the last app is Study Bunny. This is such a cute productivity app for school. We have here a timer and you can select a time mode you prefer then adjust the purple bar below depending on the duration of time you'll study you can also pause the timer for a while or end the session but this will not allow you to gain coins you can also track your study hours click on the month option at the top and add here a legend so we can place the subject name and your preferred color to add your study hours Click on the plus button and set the time you started and ended your study session for a particular subject. Choose the color based on your legend and it will show you here your study hours for the day. It also has this shop for your bunny. It includes some things, outfits, food for your character. You can also listen to some music on their YouTube channel. On the settings option, you can add a name to your bunny. I just named her Hops. Here you can also add a to-do list, then type in your to-dos. You can also move them depending on what you want to do first or what are your priorities. And just click on the checkbox if you're done with the task. There is also a flashcard feature, so click on add set. Type the definitions and terms that you want to include. Then click on the quiz button below to practice and review it. It will show you a percentage of your score. And that is all for Study Bunny. The last app on the list is Habit Tracker. Here you can add a habit you want to build and it will constantly remind you so that you will be consistent with that habit. So I'll just select this drink water and after that you can add your goal on how many ml of water you'll be drinking for the day. Select the frequency, time range, and a reminder for that habit. You can also add a motivational message. You can also set the date you started the habit and when you're planning to end it or you can select the no end option. Click on complete if you're satisfied with your preferences of your goal. Then click on your habit to add your progress like in here. And they also have here an option where you can add your custom habit. And yes, those are some apps you can use for school and for productivity. I have more app suggestions and Chrome extensions you can use on my other videos. I will just link them below. That is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!